So we've got a Volus with armed guards. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. So for once, we actually have a legitimate, honest-to-God, good reason to use this. We've stumbled into an episode of Law and Order! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. She'll like our mission then. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Listen. Okay. I am a human. Commander Shepard is a human. We have a whole bunch of not humans here. This whole Justicar Code thing sounds like a nice idea on paper that does not survive contact with the enemy for even a second and should probably be amended. But, sure, if you try to arrest her, she'll have to kill you. And you just kind of shrug and say, that's the law. Okay. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sends us into impossible odds. That's about twice a day. Thane! Hey! You... Okay, you may have heard stories, but you have not fired a gun under my command once. Not once. Not one single time. Jackass. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Well... Just just tell me where she is. I'm sure I'll figure it out. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Cool. I have to go. Good luck. We should find Samara before the detective does. Yes, Jack. We should also remember to breathe. And, and, and hydrate and other obvious things. Why do you... Okay, fine, whatever. Here, give me some Metagel or a hundred credits. Either of those is fine. Also, uh, we saw the cop harassing you, Pitney Four. Uh, what was she doing that for, Pitney? What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough. Some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Fair enough. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. 
A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items, and they are all cold-blooded killers. That sounds bad. Uh, why would anyone want your buddy dead, though, guy? Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Right then. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Ooh, Mercs. That means people to kill. Uh, let's consider this extra stock. Surplus, ship the rest to Thax at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. Hey, Thax! Listen. Uh, why don't you uh, just, just hear about this? Oh. Oh, I just pulled out my gun. It's probably not a good sign. Oh. Uh, here. Uh, a human. Open fire. They just opened fire because they saw a human. Not, you know, three people, two of which are heavily armed humans, and one of which is a fancy drill. Just a human. Got it. Well, you're all dead now, so screw you. Oh. Oh. Oh, that, that seems like it was bad. Those were my best troops. Oh, hi. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. It's not gonna go well for you. Oh. Oh, she just got, um, oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? We are in an episode of Law and Order, after all, so it's only fitting that, uh... Anyway. Uh... Hey, lady, that was mean. That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? Hey! Now? Hey now. We spent an entire Mass Effect 1 telling Garrus not to be like that. I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. And there I was that to a dumb. code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? That is one lawful, neutral-ass check. Uh, also, I mostly kill people for good reason who are trying to kill me. There was that guy in the towers with the window. 
but he would he 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 was going to try to kill me maybe probably uh anyway um you want to go on a suicide mission i'm going up against suicidal odds and i need the best that's you i sense the truth in what you say and it humbles me but i seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive i cornered her here but the eclipse sisters smuggled her off world I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Nice little convenient uh, ticking clock loophole in the totally well thought out Justicar code here. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but Justicar is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara starts killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. You don't have to be afraid. Jack sounds very excited at that prospect. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Fair enough. Also, your code is very strict. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Fair enough. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. And with that little set piece all wrapped up, we can go talk to Pitney Four again. Hey, Pitney Four. You better tell me the truth. If you don't, I'd find yourself turning into a Pitney... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Are you over here? Oh, you're over here. Now listen, Pitney Four. If you don't do the thing that I want you to do... Uh, you may find yourself turning into a Pitney three and a half. Capiche? Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. I don't think that's true, bud. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. Seems... I may have, um forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. I mean, can you blame them? It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. Fair enough. Tell me the name of the ship they're on. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. You happened to make a copy, eh? Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Great. 
So now uh, we know where they're uh, where they're going. They're going this way, and we know how to get there because we have this elevator now. Awfully convenient. And it is not like Mass Effect One. Well, it is kind of like Mass Effect One in that the elevator goes to a loading screen, but they don't, you know, artfully cover it with a descending elevator and a conversation. No, them. they just uh, put you in a. Oh, by the way, he's dead. They just put you in a loading screen. Uh, I'll crush your you bleeding to be dead. skull. Great. Jack, don't threaten the dead robot. Okay, fine. Threaten the dead robot. It's funny. Deploy more fields. Oh hi. <clears throat> You're dead. <sighs> Toxic clouds will boost the party's biotics, but a maxed out meter will kill you. Seems bad. Oh, this seems like a good chance to set up. Uh, yeah, Jack can have pull there. And Thane, why don't you have... Mm, let's put warp on right. Because we can... Yeah. I recommend limited exposure. Okay, so. Oh, oh bad. Oh, very bad. Oh, very bad. There's a lot of guns there. Shepard, are we fine? Are we f Maybe we shouldn't be using the shotgun against 15,000 enemies who are a mile away from you, huh? Fancy people. I'll kill you. Can't get a lock. Mm, you can't get a lock, Shep. She's right can't there. Can't target Balls. them. Yeah, fine, just throw a shockwave at him. There. Now run through the death cloud. One falls. Off you go. Come on. No shields. Perfect shot. No shields. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of that going on. It's an awful lot of that going on. Hey, look, a scimitar assault shotgun. That might or might not be better than the Geth plasma shotgun. Who's to say? Uh, while we're in here, we can check. Uh, it looks like the Geth plasma shotgun is still the bestest shotgun. So let's go with that. Oh, hey, there's somebody in here. Every Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. Something to remember. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Now is that true? You're in an enemy uniform and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I knew! I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. That's a hell of a move to pull on three armed people, Elnora. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. I'm sorry, a what? What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. I see. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? No. I thought we'd be... Fl but no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. Yeah, sure, fine. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. I'm sure she's a, she's a good kid who just got... She's like that kid on Omega. You know? The kid... You remember the kid... That's me, dumbass! Sorry, Jack. I was trying to go for the power wheel. Pow, pow, power wheel. Anyway, she, 
I bet this kid Elnora is just like that guy on Omega who thought, you know, oh, I've got 50 credits, I've got a pistol, I'm gonna be the one who captures Archangel. And then he realizes he's way over, way over his head and we save his life. It's exactly the same thing as that. It's exactly the same as that. You know, we're all young once. Ready and Asari are young for 200 years, so they get to make plenty of mistakes. And these people get to fucking die because I have a shot. Watch the landing. And you die via fire? That's all great stuff. Oh, hello, people. I'll tear you apart. Fire will tear you apart, actually. And then, oh, Kathunk. Kathunk in the Deploy face. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, screw you. I'm in your face now. Hey, you shotgunning me. Nothing can stop me. Oh, someone else shotgunning me? I said no doing that. Mind over matter. Oh, don't mind over matter. Are you still alive? Why are you still alive? Die. Die and give me some some of your shields. Okay, you're all very very screamy when you die. Look ahead. Come here. There. Now be dead. Don't stick your foot in the wall. That's weird. Okay. Are we happy? I think the plot's up there. Is there anything else in here? There's a medical station. Ooh, there's an Eclipse terminal to hack. It's okay if we rob them, they're bad people. Robbing bad people is part of the fun of being a good person. This is the logic behind civil asset forfeiture. Ooh, they've got they've got a heavy. One falls. Hey, can we um can we not have a heavy key? I'll throw you like a toy. They will die. Thank you, Thane. You two can die as well. Oh, look. Can't reach the target, people. Can't get a lock. What do you mean you can't get a lock? They're right over there. Okay, are they all dead? Oh look, they're all dead. I'll tear you apart. Will you now? Shields have failed. Are you sure about that? Your mark is dust. Target marked. Oh hey, you get a trophy for. Oh, is that a gunship? Oh, that's bad. Also, since when can we access the gunship from all the way out here? But uh, oh hey, a gunship. They weren't kidding. Down. You get to die. Give me some platinum. I like platinum. Uh. Why do you have a gunship, by the way? Watch for heavy weapons. Thank you, Thane. Post I'll hold support to know that they have a heavy. Well, now they don't. The heavy's dead. So are the scout and the pyro, because nobody plays TF2 anymore. Oh, there goes the Oh oh that Loki mech is Oh that Loki mech did not have a have a good time. I'm gonna have a bad time in fact. I'll weaken them. That barrier. Get me that trophy. You get dead. Can they not have a heavy please? Thank you, Jack. He's gonna send a shockwave off this way. I'm sure it's gonna go very far off to the right for no good reason. Very American shockwave. Go now to the sea. Alright. Well, you're all quite dead. Is that gunship still around? Uh, Probably. Uh, hey. Why don't you uh, get the fuck away from me? Thanks, dude. Uh, there. Now you're dead. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. Oh. A 
loaf's exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are gonna be so jealous. I see. Elnora was the killer. If we'd known. We could tell the detective this. Yeah, we probably should. Well, piss. So yeah, Elnor is the killer, and this is a rare instance of, you know, being the renegade gets the you know, best outcome because you get to kill a murderer. So, oh well. They've seen us. Oh, look, Max. Nice. Excuse me, impacting. Ah! You get dead. Hey, do you just want to eat that mech, please? Take you. Thank you. That's funny. Yeah. And the mech gets dead. And hey, look, a big open area. Huh. Well, it's not like we know the enemy has a gunship or anything. I'm just going to pull out my missile launcher for no particular reason. Just, you know, to have. Makes me feel comfortable. Oh, look, a gunship! gunship Who could have foreseen this? Ah, that's me, dumbass! Shep Jack, I'm firing missiles. Uh-oh. Well, you know, it's a good thing we saved. Gunship above. Hey, look, a gunship. Destabilizing their bodies. Take cover, Shepard. Thank you. Use uh, use the Carnifex against this thing. It's probably a good idea. It's not actually a good idea. I see you. Okay, a solid wall behind which to hide. That's good. Lighting up my shot. Oh, look, puppies. One falls. Go in peace. Whoosh. Embrace the seat. There go the puppies. Okay, would y'all please target the gunship? Thanks. Okay, maybe maybe shooting a pistol at a helicopter is a bad idea. Let's shoot a shotgun at a helicopter instead. That did better? Question mark. Yeah, that's definitely doing better. All right, gunship goes away. Now we wait for the gunship to come back. I think we'll just finish it off with the missile launcher. I'll get the uh, I'll get the ammo back. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Boom, 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 boom. All right, is that you dead? That's you dead. Hooray. And that's not even the final boss, I think. Actually, I know that's not even the final boss. Now that we've made it out of here, we can... Ooh, a shipping manifest. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Didn't we already know that Pitney 4 was a... We gotta keep moving. Eh, well, it's fine. Oh, hi! We're about to make a friend. I am a biotic god. I think things... And they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I see. Well, I mean, Samara's a biotic, but she's not a biotic god, so... 
You need help. You need help? Will you stand before the mightiest biotic ever? That's impressive. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. Um, well... They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Fear me? To be, to be, to be fair, Fishingworth, he's a god among Drell and two chicks, but also men. Sure. Like, his armor even matches my armor. It's meant to be. But, um, where were you before you came across us mere mortals, Sir Biotic God? Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He didn't say anything about you going missing. Didn't want to get stuck here. I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. Mm. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Mm. Fifteen creds says the little guy doesn't get five steps in before the merc explodes him. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Now, if we were playing a complete and total asshole, Shepard, we would say we're right behind you, and and Shepard even has a has a cute little charge. And then uh, Jack is correct. The merc the, the merc explodes poor Niftu Cal here within five steps, and and he dies, and it's sad. It's funny, but it's sad. So we won't be doing that. We shall instead be suggesting to him that perhaps in the fullness of time, the world, and the galaxy, the universe will come to realize that you are a biotic god. Just not today. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step. It's a paragon interrupt to push this guy but over. Great wind. Biotic god. I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. tired. You. may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Old nap. Destroy the universe later. Destroying the universe can wait. He doesn't deserve to live. Harsh. Harsh. Have you never been so high that you thought you were a biotic god? Ghosty says Bogsy needs to tell me the names of all the animals in The Sims. You do. You absolutely do. We need to hear that information. But first... We need to fight this lady, even though she's drinking uh, refreshing Coke Zero. Space Coke Zero. It's great. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. I like your paint, though. At least I can Markings. take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Oh. Trouble incoming! <sighs> Pulpy mass, huh? Your body is dust. By the way, your, uh, your barrier's gone. By the way, half your armor's gone. I'll kill you all! I've lost shields! Fuck you, armor guy. Enjoy killing you, the 
everyone who's got it. Uh, by the way, the rest of your armor's gone. Uh, by the way, your face is gone. <laughs> One down. Oh, are you still alive? You can't have that. Some record of that ship must be around here. Fantastic. We win. Hooray, victory for Shepard. There's a Justicar here, probably looking for the one we sent off on the AML Demeter. This is probably the ship that Crazy Asari is looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? So the game is giving me an option here in case I missed the credits or want to pick up some ammo or something, but no, we're good. We're getting out of here. Let's give her the name and keep moving. Niftu, what's up with you? I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. Hi, Pitney. Listen, uh, we know you're a criminal, but also, we know you're a criminal. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? Maybe. You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. Well, mine is a back in severe need of patting. When was the last time Commander Shepard got a pat on the back? Huh? Huh? When, when, when I went down to Eden Prime and found a Prothean beacon, did I get a pat on the back? No. I got a rogue specter trying to kill me. When I, when I went to Pharos, saved the colonists, killed the Thorian, did I get a pat on the back? No. I got a weird green mind control thing. When I went to Novaria, busted up a crooked administrator, got him arrested, hauled out in cuffs, did I get a pat on the back? No! I got a lousy drink, and I had to wait two and a half years for it! When I was still on Novaria, and I saved a species of intelligent, sentient, beautiful creatures from extinction through my own generosity for no good reason other than the fact that I am the goodest good reason in the history of good reasons, did I get a pat on the back? No! I got a thank you letter two and a half years later from a weird Asari. Didn't get a pat on the back. When I went to Vermeyer and I, when one of my crewmates put a shotgun in my face and told me why he shouldn't pull the trigger and I talked him down, did I get a pat on the back? No. I had to be content with not getting a face full of lead. When I talked to Harbinger, when, or Sovereign, when I talked to Sovereign, and I insulted him, and I told him that we were going to kill him, and we broke up his base, and we infiltrated, and we fought Saren, and we took him down tooth and nail. Did I get a pat on the back? No! I got a racist and a cool Solarian captain killed! And only one of those was my fault. The other was Caden's fault. When we went back to the Citadel and they finally listened to us and said that we were going to send a fleet to take down Saren, did I get a pat on the back? No, I got grounded and Keith David had to punch out an admiral just for me to get back on the boat. When I even forgot the fact that I went down in a mine filled with geth. Did I get a pat on the back for that? No! I got to traumatize a blue lady by having her kill her own mother! When I killed Sarah, when I talked Saren into killing himself because I am so very charming, did I get a pat on the back? No! I had to fight Saren anyway. When I saved the council, did I get a pat on the back? 
No! Did I get to be on the council? Fuck no! Keith David's on the council! And then I died! When I came back from the dead and saved a space station, did I get a pat on the back? No! I got President Martin Sheen telling me to do shit! When I ran into my old friend Tally, who I had given data that was perfect for her pilgrimage, did I get a pat on the back? No! I got Quarians telling me to fuck off and Tally won't even come on my boat anymore. When I went to Horizon and I ran into my boyfriend and I said, Boyfriend, I'm back from the dead. Let's kiss and be boyfriend and girlfriend and kill the Reapers together. Did I get a pat on the back? No! I got dumped! I have not had one single pat on this missile launcher covered back in the three years that I have been the sole entity standing between this galaxy and absolute extinction and you, Pitney 4, can't even pat my back because your arms are short. Fuck you! I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. Nope. 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 Before our mission is complete, that's Samara's loyalty mission. But we'll get there eventually. Uh, go to the boat. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Okay. Oh, she's got glowy eyes. I'm sorry, what? Listen, we just met. By Marriage the code, is... I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. So I'm guessing that, that this little custom was thrown in when the writers realized, wait a second, we've got this character who's sworn to uphold this super strict honor lady code, but she's going to be a squad mate for a shepherd who could be a total renegade dickbag. Why wouldn't she just kill Shepard? Ooh, let's let's swear her to Shepard's service and then have her vaguely threaten to kill Shepard after the mission if Shepard's a renegade dickbag. Well, it uh if you start from the place of the Justicar code is this damn rigid, then I suppose this works. Anyway, uh I I'm honored glowy eye, neely blue lady. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? Company of honorable heroes, huh? Honorable heroes. Well, look, um... Okay, so let's let's talk about these honorable heroes real quick. Um, well, the the two that we have here, um, one we destroyed a prison as she was trying to escape when we were trying to purchase her. Um, there's that. Uh, the other guy's an assassin. He, he's he's very good. Um, on our ship, we have one of the 
let's say, ten biggest war criminals in history? I mean, history is a very long span of time. He might be... Let's say 25. He might only be in the top 25. So, so we have one of, the, one of the 25 biggest war criminals in recorded history. And hey, recorded history. Who knows what happened before recorded history? Maybe he's not even in the top million all time. Who's to say? But um, recorded history, we're going to go top 25. Also on the ship, we've got... Okay, we, well, there's, um, there's a Krogan who has been alive for, like, a month, and that's about it. So, I wouldn't say he's a dishonorable not-hero, yet, but, you know, give it time. His, his, his science dad was kind of a monster, but, you know, that's, ju that's just his science dad. Um, speaking of dads who are monsters, probably the closest thing we have to an actual honest-to-God honorable hero, aside from Joker, is a guy who quit the human military to work for space terrorists because the space terrorists do things quicker. That th We also have his ex-girlfriend. Um, th she's also a space terrorist. Um... Listen, we're all honorable here. Oh, oh, we also have the galaxy's greatest thief and a mercenary killer for hire. Honorable heroes. Honorable heroes. We should only let her be around Garrus and Tally. No, wait. Garrus was a vigilante, and Tally's a... Well... We should only let her be around Tally. We should go get Tally. We should take Sabara to go get Tally, so that we have one honorable hero. We're gonna do that. Eventually. <laughs> Ghosty says... You know, Goog, it's almost like someone else might be better in Samara's place, given the company you keep. I mean... Listen... Also, also, yeah, the mercenary killer for hire, he started one of the three most ruthless mercenary groups in the entire galaxy. Yeah, 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 there's some... There is that. Honorable heroes. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar, and you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Ain't that wonderful. Uh, by the way... I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. No, you don't. You have you a confession. Through. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. Also true. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. Oh. Convenient. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. That works. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Also, um... The water is wet. The sky is... Is the sky blue on Ilium? Let's just, um... Let's assume the sky is blue. Uh, oh, 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 water is wet, this tie is blue, and Pitney 4 is a smuggler. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Okay, the money is nice, but what I'd really like is if when I just turn around and go to leave you you stand up behind me and just kind of you know right on the back there right, like right in the middle right above the missile launcher if you could it would it, it would feel nice she didn't um she didn't actually I didn't even get the pat on the back That's okay. 
we leveled up, and uh, we recruited Samara. Got a shotgun that we'll never use. That's good. Biotic damage upgrade. Some money. And we can go buy that uh, buy that stuff at that store. We should probably actually do that. And some platinum. All good things. All wonderful things. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. I'm sure you skills, have. I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. Wait, don't you know these people are ter- whatever. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Jacob, it's not military. You need to stop doing that. Okay. So we have Samara. We have uh, recruited the Justicar. We have done a whole bunch of stuff for Liara and around Ilium. And that is all great. Next time, we will go make sure that Miranda's family is okay. And she definitely isn't going to get betrayed by a guy who's very obviously betraying her. And then it will be off to something else. Who knows? We may even go see Liara about that uh, shadowy brokery gentleman. Who's to say? Who's to say indeed? But for the folks watching on YouTube, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.